Guys, I wanted to put a quick video out on how I DeFi personally. Let's get started. Okay, first and foremost, this is not financial advice. You can lose a lot of money if you invest, or if it's not an investment. Yeah, we're playing around with uh, cryptos and, and decentralized uh, financing, and it's, it's interesting, but uh, there is a ton of... Uh, easy ways to lose a lot of money. I have lost way more than I wanted to lose in um, learning what I've learned. And so I am um, hope to impart uh, some knowledge to you on what I do and what has worked and what hasn't. So if you ever decide to do this, you will uh, maybe not make all the mistakes I did. So um, I like to use a Polygon network instead of BNB and of course, instead of Ethereum. Now the benefits of Polygon is that it is super, super cheap. I only, I'm only playing around with a few hundred dollars uh, of my of my fun money to kind of play with this and learn about it. Uh, I've lost um, money, and um, w to do what I'm doing and to learn, I have to make a lot of transactions. Well, where a transaction might cost you fifty cents, twenty cents, thirty cents on B and B, um, on Polygon it'll cost you a penny or two pennies. So I really enjoy Polygon. Uh, of course, uh, Ethereum transactions are $8, $10, $20, just to move stuff around. It's insane. Anyway, Polygon is great, and I'm gonna show you how to get involved in it. You'll need to buy some Polygon tokens, which are Maddox, the way I normally do it. I like to do it is just to go straight to KuCoin and trade for some Matic. If you don't, uh, if you're not on KuCoin, you don't want to go through the K, uh, know your, what is it, KYC, all that stuff. Uh, you can always use Alien Worlds if you have Wax, if you're one of my Wax uh, friends. I know you have Wax, or if you just have Alien Worlds TLM, there's a way to uh, bridge um, your TLM into BNB. If you go to Alien Worlds, they have a teleport system. So you could take Wax, and you could teleport Wax to TLM, uh, I'm sorry. You could tell. You, you could take Wax. You could buy TLM on a on a Wax swap, and then you could teleport it from Wax to the BNB smart chain. And then I believe I believe Pancake Swap has BNB. I'm sorry, TLM. Yes, Pancake Swap has TLM, and so you could then just uh, get trade it for USDT or USDC, of which you could then bridge. There's bridges out there. I'm not. This is uh, not a video on how to do all that. How to get uh, Maddox to your wallet. I can make another video on that if you want me to, but uh, that's the quick down and dirty. Get it to uh, b and and use a bridge. Uh, and so let's pretend we have, now we now we have Matic in our wallet. I got like 56 Matic, that's like $100 worth of Matic in my wallet, and I never, it hardly ever moves because it's so, so little amount to actually do any type of transactions. And again, that's why I love it. So what is DeFi? DeFi, De decentralized finance, what does that mean? Well, it means, you know, that when you're swapping uh, tokens for tokens, we're talking about wrap tokens that, that are wrapped uh, in the Ethereum style. You can wrap them on BNB, you can wrap them on Matic, and, and then you make trades and people, maybe people want one token for another. And so they come in here and they would come to an exchange like ApeSwap. Oh, let me tell you about the uh, downside of Polygon. Polygon's amazing. I love it. It's just not as popular as BNB or Ethereum. Uh, some, for some reason, people love paying more for transactions. And so one of the things about DeFi is how much money is invested in the thing you're investing in, how much money has been sunk into the thing you're investing in, it's the total dollars that are in there. And that's something I'll show you here in a minute. But uh, if there's if there's not as much, if there's just a few thousand, fifty thousand, hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, that uh, piece of DeFi is going to be way more volatile than something like uh, you know something on Ethereum that has a hundred million dollars that is that, that uh, people's funds that are in there, or BNB that has twenty million, um, and so that's the downside of Polygon. Uh, is that you know you're going to find some DeFi's that just have, don't have as much money, could be more volatile. So there you go. Okay, back to Ape Swap. So you can see where I'm swapping stuff. Here I can swap all these different uh, wrap tokens on the Polygon. I'm on the Polygon network. With Ape Swap, you can use Polygon or BNB. And I can swap it for just about anything else. So shut down, please. So, you know, let's say I wanted some banana, which is Ape Swap's uh, token. And so I just swap it. And when you swap things like this, there's a, there's a small fee. Uh, 
because this is this is a decentralized uh, exchange right here. It's a it's a dex. There is no this isn't one of those exchanges that looks like the stock market. This is a KuCoin. Um, this is no one's involved in here. There are no buyers and sellers. There's just a algorithm that makes sure that whatever you're paying uh, for the banana with your Matic that it's 50-50 based upon value. I don't, I'm not going to go into that right now, but it's a really cool algorithm that uh, keeps it steady. And as long as there's liquidity, as long as there's volume in the, in the pool, then you can all, you can swap stuff out to the cows come home. If you're, if you're one of the wax people, you've seen this on the wax swaps. Step one of DeFi would be to provide the liquidity. If there's no, if there's no uh, tokens, if there's no Matic tokens and banana tokens in here, then no one can swap and it doesn't help anybody. So let's say I had uh, a, a thousand banana and I had the equivalent of whatever that is in Matic and I wanted to swap it. Let's see, how much is a Matic to a banana? So 50 bananas. So if I had, uh, let's just switch this. So let's say I had 100 bananas. That's about 23 Matic. Let's say I had that much, uh, 40 bucks each of these two things and I wanted to supply, I wanted to help out the, the pool, the liquidity pool. I would go over here to the liquidity and I would say, hey, I'm gonna supply liquidity and I would put in those two tokens and I would get a portion of the fees when people come in here and they make the swaps. That's number one, that's how you get paid a, you know, a little bit of a time. Oh, and here's a nice multi-chain bridge right off of ApeSwap. So here's how you would go from one to the other. If I wanted, to, if I had BNB, I'm not gonna do all this. But if I had BNB and I had USDT and I wanted to put it into Matic um, on Polygon, I would switch this. I would switch this, and I would just, you know, I would send it on over, and voila, I would have it. So we've hit step one. We've provided liquidity, and now we're getting a little bit of profit on uh, our tokens when people make. Uh, exchanges that's cool but furthermore what will happen is people can come out here and they can say hey we also because you know you're st if you would stake this um, liquidity token because when you provide liquidity to a pool you get th they'll give you a liquidity pool token that says this is how much you stake you have in the liquidity pool so I provided 100 banana and some Matic, and I would get back something like, I don't know, I'm going to make up a number. I get back three liquidity pool tokens. I can then come over to uh, vaults or farms. It all depends on what they're, how they, the verbiage of the site. So an ape swap, they call them farms. And I'm going to show you my favorite quick swap here in a minute. Um, but I've got some stuff invested in ape swap. You come over here, and you can find a pair. Um, and so you see right here, I. I provided liquidity, the liquidity pool to the banana matic liquidity pool. That's the pairing that I provided to. Well, I can actually uh, stake my pool tokens to another farm and I will get more earnings. 82% right now, according to this current uh, process. So let's open this up. You'll see that I've earned 42 banana and 0.99 matic since I last harvested. I have like $250 staked. Um, and there it is. So very cool. I can up this. I can harvest this. What I'm going to do, and I'll show you right now here in a second, is I'm going to harvest this, which will give me. Okay. So what I'm going to do in a minute is I'm going to take the, the these right here that I've earned. I'm going to pull them out. And I'm going to put them back in, and I'm going to keep compounding my interest. That's my plan. That's what I'm doing for now. It's working pretty good. Making some some decent some decent funds. Let's go over to my favorite quick swap. And just so you know, Banano has one also on the Polygon network. It's really nice. Uh, you can you can do a swap on Sushi Swap. Oh, they they've actually cool. They've integrated it right into that's new. This is now integrated into the swap into the site Polygon.Banano.cc, um, and then you can stake and farm. So once you have added to their liquidity pool, you can stake and farm. I've got quite a bit on this as well. I'm doing the same thing on this as I am on the other two. I love Banano. You guys know that. I've got 15 LP tokens. Uh, which used to be worth like a lot more than it is right now because everything's down. So right now, QuickSwap is probably my favorite QuickSwap dot exchange. It's my favorite Polygon um, exchange DeFi site because I like it and there's a lot of there's a lot of options. Um, and so here's what I do again, like I did. I showed you on Banana. I would come over here and I would go to Swap. I wouldn't go to Swap. Um, I would go to Pool. 
A lot of times on the swap they have a slider like banana. So you got these are all a little different. You got to check in and see how to do it. But on their swap thing, you can hit the liquidity that way. Over here, instead of doing it that way, you've got to actually go to the pool. It means the same thing. So this right here, add liquidity, is the same thing as if it went over here. You can see it says add liquidity. So I would add liquidity to a pair that I want to add liquidity to. But let's say I wanted to add liquidity to quick swap and let me see what I got going here. Here's a liquidity pool mining. So I've already added to USDC and QuickSwap, and there's also a token called KeyFi and QuickSwap. So to get LP tokens to then come over here to the farming and the mining, I would need to add liquidity. So I would come over here and I'd say, oh yeah, I want to add liquidity to, to USDC. And to QuickSwap, there you go. Boom. I would add liquidity, I would get tokens, and then I can put those on the farms, which is the next step. So let's go to the farms. So I go to farms and I look down. Here's all the different farms. I'm, I'm, I'm involved in these top two, but these are also ones that I'm not involved. So you can see here's a, a wrapped Ethereum and USDC. It's $51 million has been deposited in this uh, exchange or in this farm. And uh, they're earning about 18% of the money, which is great. That's awesome. It's very... Uh, not volatile because you got a huge total deposit and these are you know usdc is completely uh stable it's a stable coin and ethereum's not going to go up or down too much so this is where you can really lose money as you pick a wrong token that's very unstable you can throw some throw a, your lp tokens in there and if and if that uh, token tanks you're i mean you're just losing value if you take it out you're just going to lose value here's usdt a stable token and ethereum 23 million Blah, blah, blah. And you just go through here and you can see which ones you like. You can see that some of these have very high interest rates. Now, usually when you find a super high interest rate one, it's on tokens that you probably haven't heard of or new projects or, you know, are pretty volatile. And so, so in saying that, let me show you my KeyFi quick. Now, I've looked up KeyFi. It's a finance uh, DeFi site and QuickSwap. And you can see this only has $61,000, you know. So I'm playing. I'm seeing if I can do it. And so far, it's done great. It, I, I've done great with, uh, there was, I was in Stars 99 for a while and did great. Uh, but there's been other ones I've done, you know, put money in and they've just disappeared. So I'm just learning, guys. That's why I'm telling you, be careful just because it has this great interest rate. If it does, it probably doesn't have a lot of money involved and you're probably in danger. So, saying all that, I've now put my LP tokens. Let's, all right, so let's catch back up to where we're at. We've come in here, the first step one is to go to a, go to your pool and add liquidity. You add liquidity for the farm. Let's say you find, let's say you come over here and you find a farm you wanna be involved in. I wanna be involved in USDC and Quick. They're making 53%, they got $2 million there, that's pretty stable stuff. I wanna be involved in that. So, I've gotta come over here to the pool and I've got to create add liquidity. Now I've got to get a hold of two of both of those tokens. So I might have to use a swap first. Let's say I've got a bunch of Matic that I sent over and I want to and I want to get involved in those. I'm going to have to change some Matic into Quick. So I would swap them right here. Let's swap one just so you can see. I'm going to swap one Matic and get 0 0.007 Quick. Woohoo. And you can see down here uh, there is usually is the fee. Here's our fee. This is for people that provide liquidity. They get a piece of this fee. So boom, I boom it, I, I zoom it, and there we go. Now I've got some quick. Guys, also, here's another big thing on Polygon. Um, it, the, your transactions can get stuck really easy. So don't do the market value. If you see this like in your, uh, in your MetaMask, go up here and pay the aggressive. You're still talking 0 0.01. Maddox are about $2, maybe even less, probably less right now. So this is worth two cents to go aggressive. And there's a lot of times where you go market, speed, gas, and it, it just gets stuck. It takes forever. So I'm going to go aggressive on this one. And I may have a problem because I, I may be stuck with that first one that I forgot to do that with. See if I can come in. There is an option to speed up. So I'm going to come in here. You can see this is my one that I just queued. That's going to be with the more aggressive speed. I'm going to come in here and say speed this one up. Okay, I think it went through now. Yeah. So I'm going to put USDC. You can see that I lost a little bit in the fee, but this is fine. So I am going to provide this much liquidity to the pool, very little, but it don't matter. I'm just showing you. You'll see that I get some pool tokens here in a second that do not do foxy. All right, now you'll notice I have down here the uh, my position. 
you can see this is my LP tokens. It's 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 5, 5, 8. So I have uh, pool tokens now. Now I can go to the farm. I'm actually, if I did nothing else and just left this here, I would make a little bit of uh, money or uh, tokens on the pool share. Um, so I want to make more than that. So I'm going to go over to farms. And this is what I have pool tokens in, USDC and quick. I'm going to say manage. And you will see that uh, here's my tokens available because the rest of them are staked. So I'm going to deposit all of those. I'm going to approve the contract. And there you go. I am now in the, well, as soon as it goes through. All right. And so I just added more to my liquidity deposits. So there we are. Now I will continue to make D quick. So they pay you in the token of their exchange or depending on depending on what you're doing so over here in my ape swap i get paid in matic and banana that's how that works or banana sorry i earn banana and i earn matic in this uh farm but in these uh liquidity pool single uh farms i only earn um d quick d quick is one of their other tokens besides quick um and i think it's the uh the one for the farms and so now i'm making Whatever percentage, what percentage did that say it was? Approximately. Right now it says I'm making 53%. I've seen that go all the way down to you know 20s and all the way up to 80s. Uh, 50 is fine. I'll take 50. That's nice. And I'm making 274% on this. So that's step two. You've provided liquidity to the pool. Now you've provided your pool tokens to the farm. You're, there's a more way to make you know funds. And then on quick swap, what you can do is take your DeFi tokens that you make and put them in what's called the Dragon's Lair, which is paying currently another 30%. So the things that you are earning, uh, you can take and you can stick in here so they're not just sitting there doing nothing and make another 30%. It's crazy. Let's do that right now. So I'm going to go to my farm that I just put stuff in. I'm going to claim. That's what I'm going to do. Not withdraw. Withdraw will pull out your LP tokens. I want to claim the D quick. So quick is, uh, <clears throat> was worth about 300 when I first started. It got all the way down to like 170. It's back up in the twos, I believe. Uh, and D quick is kind of about the same value. So if I think of it in the 300s, cause I like to be optimistic, then this is, you know, this is worth like three or three or five dollars or something like that. I, I think, I don't know. I'm going to claim it. I'm going to claim it. You can see how this could add up a lot really fast if you're on BNB or, uh, Ethereum. So let's go back to Oh, shoot, it already went. I was going to show you this, but it's too late. I grabbed it. So right now, my quick balance is forty-five ninety-seven. So, you know, what is it? About three bucks per one. So that's about 12 bucks. That's cool. That's not bad, I think. Something like that. 12, 15. We'll see in a minute. I'm going to go back and I'm going to grab the D quick from my Keyfi and quick farm, which is up to 0.4. That's nice. So I'm going to claim that and I do this every few days guys I just if I got 20 bucks or 30 bucks out there sitting of D quick you know I'll, I'll claim it every couple days I'll put it in D quick every every you know I'll claim it and that when I claim it it goes straight to the dragon's lair so then it's earning an extra percentage then when it gets about 30 or 50 bucks then I pull it out and I grab all the stuff and I do it all over again and add it to my stuff and it's just been accumulating so again all right see if I can get here before it goes so it was 45. I've got, it says I got two penny, but I got that one that's stuck that I already canceled and sped up, but that's okay. So here we go. We just got it. There we go. 0 0.103. So we're talking, if it, if it reaches, it's about $30 if we're talking the original amount. So at this point, I think it's, t it's good to pull out and to reinvest. So this will show you the whole process uh, that I use from start to finish. So now that I got enough quick in the, in my balance, uh, I want to actually pull it out and get it in the 50% stuff and the 200% stuff. So let's pull it out. I'm going to say withdraw my quick. Withdraw. All right. So what farms am I involved in while it's doing that? I actually already did it. I'm in USDC quick and I'm in KeyFi quick. So I'm in two pools that have quick in it. So what I need to do is swap out a uh, half, no, a quarter because I need just these are four this is four different tokens that I'm in and two of them are quick so I need to keep 50% of my quick to use to supply to the uh, to the liquidity pool and so I need a 25% in KeyFi and 25% in USDC but let's just do this a little bit one at a time I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna get 25% of USDC in my swap with my quick 
So uh, let's see how much quick we got. All right, we got, of course, we got 1.04. That's what, 0 0.5, 0 0.25. So we're going to go 0 0.025. And we're going we're gonna to put that uh, in USDC. Let's just see. US, this will tell us how much it's worth. Because these are, this is a stable coin, right? It was worth five bucks. So when I said thirty bucks, it's twenty to twenty-three dollars because, like I said, it's it's in the two hundreds now instead of instead of three hundred. But yeah, I'm still optimistic. So we're basically putting five dollars and seventy cents of USDC and five dollars and seventy cents approximately of quick into the pool. So we're going to swap this. I remember the zero point two five. I'm, I'm going to put that into the liquidity pool here in a second. All right, let's go to the pool. I gotta go. I gotta select the pool I want. What am I doing? Quick. All right, my balance should show up as uh, 570 here in a second, and this should go down to what point? Whatever, whatever here in a second. If it doesn't, we'll switch back over to the swap and just swap the other ones and come back in a minute. So Keyfi, I want Keyfi. I'm gonna go back to Quick. Oh, see now it's adjusted. And I'm gonna go to Kefi. Now I've been in this I've been in this chintzy little uh farm court for quite a while. I'm getting nervous. I'm probably gonna pull this out soon and maybe look for a different one. But uh, you know, it's a it's a decent little uh DeFi site, so who knows? I don't know, we'll see. So let's pretend I'm at 0.75. Uh, I'm, I just I just I'm gonna do the 0 0.025 again to get me a Kefi. So there we go. Swap, swap. Now I've just quartered my D quick or my quick for my two farms again. Let's see how much it goes up. Again, there's should be about twenty-two total dollars in all the stuff that we've invested in. So while that's pending, let's go back to our USDC pool. You now see that I have five dollars and seventy-three seventy cents, so I'm going to do that. And there's that. You can see it's not point. It's point two four nine instead of point two five because of the fee. You should know that by now. You probably do. I'm going to supply. I'm going to confirm that I want to supply. All right. So while that's going, before I uh, add to the farm, let's do the pool for the other one. So Kifa and quick. Now you can see I'm almost at the end of my quick, right? I've done it 25% uh, of each. So we'll do the max of that. That does 2.49. And so there we go. We're going to supply liquidity to the pool there. Just more liquidity. Now I'm going back to my farms. Finally, this is the end of the process. Uh, I'm, my LP tokens are coming for that second pool. There we go. I got those. But now we're going to go here to my first farm. I'm going to say manage. And you can see down here I've got tokens for this farm i'm going to deposit those all of them there's no reason for me to hold on to it I'll sign this transaction and deposit those now watch 929 over here should go up to what guys uh, 9 943 something like that it's like a 10 or 12 dollars <coughs> let's say 942. it's pending we're going to say 942. Let's see if it doesn't take too long. If it does, I'm going to go away. 940. All right. That's close. Two bucks. And we're going to do the same thing here. Keyfi. You can see I've got 0.65 LP tokens for this uh, liquidity pool. I'm going to deposit those. And this is basically it. This should go up 12 bucks, 11 bucks. So let's say a 506. Pending, pending, pending. I will seven. All right, I was close. All right, and guys, that's it. So I'm going to wait a few days and all this stuff will be accumulated again will be accumulating again and I will just do the whole process again I just keep going and go on to do the same thing with my bands uh, I, I just harvested my bands a, a few minutes before I made this video and I put them right back in same thing with my bananas uh, I'm gonna harvest this in a minute and I'm gonna stick it right back in here and that's how it works that's my strategy and I am 
by no means anyone that knows anything. Uh, I've made a lot of mistakes here, and I may be completely way off with this. So I, if I am, and you're watching this, please tell me uh, my mistakes or, or what you guys do and how, how you make it work. If you got questions and you don't know what's going on, feel free to ask in the comments. I appreciate you guys. Sub, like, everything else. You guys are the best. Kappa P! That was bad. Let me try it again. Peace! No, I don't like that one. Peace.